So this is just a continuation of the video I made about mounting your cowbell on the bass drum. So the first thing, people were asking what mount I used, and this is a pearl mount, but it's not a cowbell bass drum mount. It's actually used to mount a legless hi-hat onto a bass drum. So this clamp is pretty useful for other stuff besides what it's made for. You saw in the first video, I use it for the cowbell bass drum mount, but what we could also use it for is to clamp it onto like a trap table or something. It's very low profile and you can get it, you know, in a few places. So now there's a few different styles of these cowbell mounts for the bass drum. And a lot of them, you know, they're pretty cheap. And after a while, the pads that touch the hoop of the bass drum, they wear out a bit. So I don't have one that's that style, but what you can do is to take a sleeve from a pair of drumsticks and wrap it around the bass drum and then clamp it over that. And then a few other people were asking about the, uh, the L rod. The types of rods you'll find usually are straight rods, Z rods, which I don't have one, these little slightly angled ones, and L rods. Now the cheapest ones are these straight rods. Six dollars for a long rod like this beats the price of an L rod. Now as you can see this one looks kind of weird. That's because I took one of these and bent it to 90 degrees. So if you have a blowtorch your best bet is to buy a straight rod and to bend it because it's much cheaper. So that's it. This video is going to be shorter than I thought it was going to be, but hey, whatever. Hopefully you got some, you know, information out of this and you can apply some of it and, you know, save a few bucks. But now i got to clean this crap up, so thanks for watching.